What's up, garden friends? Jeff, your tropical plant party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I'm great. I need to pot up some cactus. Now, I have tons of cactus and succulents over on my shelf. And I actually need to make room on that shelf to start getting seeds and cuttings going. So my original plan with all of these cactus and things that I've been kind of hoarding and stocking up on, is I wanted to do a really big desert scape in a pot, but that has to wait. It's not time yet. I'll be doing that in the spring or summer when it's warm enough that I can have these outside. I don't have space in here for a giant planter like that, nor do I in my house. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly toss together this planter real quick. I'm putting a whole bunch of cactus in it. I don't necessarily have a theme in mind, unfortunately. Originally, this had amaryllis and narcissus paper whites in it. And I had all of these really lovely blue Amazonite stones covering the top. That made sense to me because it was wintertime and blue is like ice and whatnot. But this pot's kind of earthy, modern. I may not do that. Um, I'm just going to kind of play around with it and see what happens. I may not even use these. I actually would like to put a crassula in here, so I should probably go grab that uh, if I'm going to use it. There we go. That's better. I also have this guy right here. I don't know if this is a Howithoria or it's maybe some type of aloe. It's pot disappeared. If you watch many of my videos several vlogs ago, I had a huge tray of plants that fell. It's pot got lost in all the chaos, so that, I don't know. But it has a nice rosette shape to it. These are both very forgiving plants. There will not be any echeverias in here. You know, I typically like having a lot of echeverias in my planters, but there's just not much light in my house for them. So uh, I'm just gonna stick with the cactus. They can tolerate the low light a little bit better, actually, than the Echeverias can, at least for short periods of time, I should say. Echeverias respond very quickly to low light. They take off in a tolly very fast. So this is a cactus and palm potting mix that I mixed with uh, an orchid blend that was mostly just bark and charcoal. So, and there's some debris that's gotten in here. That's okay, but it's a really nice mix that doesn't hold very much. So that is more ideal for where I live since this will be outside part of the year. I need it to drain very, very, very quickly. I don't want it to hold a lot of moisture because we get a fair amount of rain here. So, you know, if these guys are gonna get rained on, I don't want them to rot. So that's the mix I'm using. And I'm going to start with the tallest plant first, which you actually can't even see here. It's not on the table. There it is. It is not an air plant. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, I, if I had to guess, I would say this is the San Pedro cactus, but I can't say for sure since it doesn't have a label. One thing I know, though, is that getting this to stand up on its own is going to be kind of tricky, and it will outgrow this pot. It's not going to stay in this pot forever, that's for sure. It'll outgrow it fairly quickly. So I think the first thing I have to do is figure out how to get this guy to stand up in here. What? I think that this actually may hold up on its own just fine. But we will see. I'm probably speaking too soon on that one. So now I've got my big guy in there, and I'm going to start filling around. I have a lot of cactus that are these ball type. I don't want too many balls in here. I'm gonna try and mix things up as much as possible. I'm gonna see if I can dig up some kind of earthy organic decoration to put in here too. But that'll probably be a finishing touch. I'm gonna dig around and see what I have. Oh, and I did forget to mention that there is a teeny tiny amount of tomato fertilizer in here, just a little bit. So I dug this guy up. This is a piece of fake driftwood. I prefer fake for anything with cactus and succulents because it's not gonna retain moisture. So that way if a cactus or succulent is planted alongside it, you don't really have to worry about that moisture rubbing off on it and potentially rotting it. And this might work, so it might be a bit large for this. Let's see, I could lay it like this. Maybe I can put it around this, help hold it up. Nope, that looks dumb. Could do a little bit of, no, not gonna do that. Let me stick it upside down. It'll look like an old like desert shrub. Kind of cool. Now it looks like some kind of monster that's coming to eat you. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna keep messing with it. I think I like that. It looks like an old desert shrub. An old dead piece of, you know, desert tree. What am I saying? And I think the crassa will look really good behind that and some small ball cactus right next to it. That's gonna be pretty. The question is really, can I get enough soil out of here to get the crassa in there? without knocking the cactus over. <laughs> this is in focus. Let's see if I can't work this down in there without disrupting too much. There we go, that should do. Yeah, I like that. I like the contrast and the textures. And having something smaller in front, that's gonna look nice. And dig another spot out here for the balls. What are those? Gold, oh, this is a little golden ball cactus. 
cannot pronounce that name. Oh, it's a not a cactus linen. I'll do that later. All right, so I'm gonna just try and squeeze our tiny little balls in here if I can. All done. I think it looks pretty good. I guess I shouldn't say all done. I still need to top dress it. I like to have a layer of gravel in any pot, any planter I'm doing that has cactus and succulents because that helps keep the moisture from the dirt being in contact with the sides of the plant. I did toss some of the blue guys in there. It really just, it wasn't looking quite right. Although the color contrast was really pretty. So I'm just gonna use these river pebbles. I think that'll be fine. And like I said, I'm gonna be pulling this thing apart in a couple months anyways when I do a really large scale planter. So this'll do. Now I do have this piece of quartz here. It's very sparkly, very earthy. And I actually think it would fit well in there, so I might go ahead and try and fit that in this. Yep, I like that. But I always tend to like anything that's sparkly and shiny, so that's no surprise there. All right, now just gonna go ahead and toss some pebbles in here, work them in around everything, and then we can talk about what I planted. There we go. I like it, working for me. So, wanna talk about what's in here? In the back, this is a watch chain plant, also called Crassula Lycopodii. I'll type it out. And in the front, these are the golden ball cactus, which was a uh, not a cactus, I think. Not a cactus. Being housey, I'm gonna type it out. I don't know how to say it. That's what these pretty guys are. I think those look really, really pretty. They got some dirt in there that I need to brush out. They just look, they add a nice contrast to everything. As well as this guy, which I, like I said, is maybe an aloe or a halothoria. I, I do not know. Let me know. I lost its label. And if a plant doesn't have a label, unless like it's maybe a daffodil or something obvious, with cactus and orchids, there are a lot of things that look very similar that are not the same thing. It's the same with this guy back here that I said is probably the San Pedro cactus, but I don't know for certain, so I'm not going to say that's what it is. But either way, I know that it's going to be big and it's not going to last in here for very long. But doesn't matter, I'm taking this apart soon anyway. Then in the back, that is a Pyloserius Azarius, I believe. Let me look. Yep, Pyloserius Azarius. Those are really cool. That Azarius, that part of the name lets you know. Blue, Azur, Azur, blue. So the more sun these get, these they should blue up and really stand out in the background. Yeah, I'm happy with how this came out, considering all I did was toss it together and I didn't put much thought into it. And uh, I'm gonna be excited to take it apart too. They're gonna do better potted up like this than they were in those little nursery cans from Home Depot, which is where most of these came from. So I'll put them inside. They'll get more natural light through the windows. The windows that they're in are garden windows and they're fairly cool right now, which is another reason I didn't want the edge of areas in here. The cactus and all of these things should be fine as long as, you know, I don't have them sopping wet all the time. I think that piece of driftwood came out looking good in there too. The giant chunk of sparkly stuff, I mean, I like it. I have a feeling a lot of other people won't, but that's all right. It's fun. And I, I do plan on getting those paper flowers off the cactus at some point. Hey, that's going to do it. That's enough rambling and whatnot. Hope everybody enjoyed the video and I hope y'all are doing well. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It helps the videos a lot. I really appreciate every single one of them. Subscribe as well. I upload multiple times a week. I'll put my social media stuff down below. Follow me. I'll follow you back. We can look at each other's plant pictures and have fun, nerdy plant time together. And like I said before, comment down below. I love talking to y'all. <laughs> Let me know what you guys got going on with your cactus and succulents, any fun arrangements that you're excited to do. All right, and as always, everybody, keep on growing.